Hey, welcome back. If you have ever wondered how companies like Amazon track every action in an order and how they recover when something goes wrong. Event sourcing is a pattern that makes it all possible. Let's understand the event sourcing pattern with an e-commerce platform use case. Let's say your e-commerce platform is built using microservices. You have an order service that creates and manages orders, a payment service that handles payments, an inventory service that manages product stock, and a shipping service that ships the product. Now imagine a customer named Sarah visits your store and places an order for a phone. In a traditional app, the order service might just update its database and change the status from new to paid to shipped. But in microservices and with event sourcing, that's not how it works. Instead of each service saving just the final state, each one records events for every action it performs. These events are the source of truth and they are shared across the system. So here's how event sourcing pattern works. Sarah places an order. The order service saves an event called order placed. It doesn't save a full order record. It saves the action that happened. This event is published to an event store, a kind of log where all events go. Next, the inventory service picks up that order placed event. It checks if the phone is in stock. If everything looks good, it emits another event, stock reserved. Now the payment service listens for that. When it sees stock reserved, it charges Sarah's card and emits payment successful. Finally, the shipping service sees that payment was successful, prepares the package and emits order shipped. All of these services are decoupled. They don't call each other directly, they react to events and they emit new ones. That's the event sourcing approach. So now let's say the system crashes. You don't lose the order. Why? Because all the steps, order placed, stock reserved, payment successful, order shipped, were recorded in the event store. You can replay them one by one to rebuild the full order status. Start from nothing. Apply order placed. Okay, we have a new order. Apply stock reserved. We know inventory was confirmed. Next, payment successful. The payment went through. Finally, order shipped. The phone is on its way. You didn't need to store any current state. You built it from events and you can always do it again anytime. Why this pattern is powerful. Now let's say Sarah contacts support. She says she paid but never got her phone. Instead of guessing, your system shows the full story, not just the current status. You can see exactly what happened when the order was placed, if stock was reserved, whether payment succeeded and whether the package was shipped. Everything is traceable because every step was captured as an event. You can debug problems, track delays or even rewind and fix issues just by looking at the events. It also works great for analytics. Want to know how many orders were paid but never shipped? Just filter events. No need to query a big messy database. Why event sourcing pattern works? So well in microservices. Well, event sourcing is especially useful in a microservices architecture. Services stay small and focused. They don't need to know how other services work. They just react to the events they care about and emit their own when something happens. The order service doesn't call the inventory service. It just emits order placed and moves on. The inventory service listens and reacts. Same for payment and shipping. This keeps the system loose and flexible and makes it easy to add new services without changing the old ones. You can even add a notification service that listens for order shipped and sends a confirmation email. No changes needed to the shipping service, just plug in and go. So to wrap up, event sourcing is a powerful pattern that works beautifully with microservices. Instead of saving state, each service saves events like order placed, payment successful, order shipped. These events are stored, shared and used to build views, recover from failure and track what really happened. In our e-commerce example, we followed Sarah's order through the order, inventory, payment and shipping services and saw how events made the whole process traceable and resilient. If this helped clarify event sourcing in a real system, 
give the video a like and subscribe for more real world backend content.